So, so where do you see yourself in uh, five years, dude? Five years is a long time, man. Uh, honestly, um, there's also there's there's a hard reality and there's also um, a possibility, right? Um, the hard reality is that I, if I keep on doing what I'm doing right now, or, damn, I don't want to be too harsh on myself, fuck. Um, five years from now, I, I do see myself, um, having a little bit more free time, hopefully a house, um, and more, uh, more financially free. Uh, still healthy, um. Hopefully doing more yoga and, um, yeah, just being more active and it's not that I haven't been active. It's just that I want to make it more of a routine, a better routine. I want to say, where, where are you going to buy a house? Um, so, um, I have thought about it. I was thinking either San Diego. Or even LA, but I don't think the market is gonna crash anytime soon. But dude, houses here are expensive, and if I got if I want a house here, I gotta make a lot of money, man. Yeah. Cool. Especially like getting, I want to get a car garage too. You know, it doesn't have to be in LA. I'll skirt LA is fine, but I definitely want a garage for sure and, and a nice car. Cool, man. How much, JD uh, in front of Tegra. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Red, red is fine. Black is fine. White championship. White. I've never fell in love with white man. I never fell in love with the uh, white cars. I never owned one. Never like liked it. Um, I've always been to like red, black. Championship white though. Ch- championship if I had, white. If I had a choice. If I if if I wouldn't if I had a choice between the three colors, the yellow, white, or the red, I would definitely go the red, yellow, and then white. Okay, I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. <laughs> but uh, bro, man, the red dude, the red is freaking eye catching, bro. I love the red. Our blood. Yellow's pretty fire too. Our blood. I see you, blood. I think I think I ITR only comes in four colors, right? Yeah, black, black, yellow, red, and white. Yeah. Love it, man. Uh, uh man, that, that, what about you, man? That uh, that threw How me off. That question threw me off. Uh, <laughs> uh, five years, man. You know, I, I I've been debating on whether I if I want to stay here or not. Um, you know, I, I mean, the reason why. I'm still in an apartment is to stay nimble, you know, um, because this isn't because I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, like in terms of, you know, because I'm focused on legacy and I want to bring in my siblings, but but I don't want to force them into doing what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Which is pool our money together and, and start doing stuff together financially. Right. Um you know, it's on, a lot to carry. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot to carry. A lot to lead. Yeah. If you if you decide to do that, it has to be, I guess, more concrete. You know, yeah. it's not like even really that, concrete. But, but willing to just work together and, and figure shit out. You know, um, but but that's the thing, right? When you say that, siblings, you mean like you have you have two sisters, two sisters. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't think I've met the other one. Emily. No, I met Emily, but you have one more. Right? Oh, oh, the older one. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think you've met the older. Yeah. One. Yeah. But so, yeah, so, so on my side, two sisters on my wife's side, you know, a uh, few brothers, a few sisters. Um, but, you know, and, and, and it's, you know, you know, honestly, I haven't had this conversation conversation yet with them too, to, you know, really do stuff together. And my older sister, but she kind of doesn't trust, <laughs> doesn't trust me, doesn't trust herself either to really, you know, do something big with our money, you know, but so, so that's what why. Are you, what are you thinking? What? Oh, I was thinking about going back down south. I think uh, my uncle might might be in alignment with with uh, that purpose of legacy and family. So, so you you want to go down south? Yeah. To get a house together or a land? I'm I'm assuming. To plant my flag, dude. 
you know, to say like, cause, cause honestly, okay. like, uh, it didn't have to be a house. It could be a duplex or it can be, I can go into another apartment or, or whatever, you know, but, but just to pool our money and, and start, you know, doing something together. L like what? I, I don't know yet. I, I haven't thought this, this is kind of a new thought. Okay. So, but you want them to do like a business, I'm yeah. assuming. Yeah. Some some kind of business, real estate, uh, whatever business, right? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Huh. So so where where am I in five years? Don't quite know yet, man. I just know that. Over two years. In two years, I'd like to, uh, with make it rain, take this off, right, and then also the drop shipping. You know, I mean, that's why I did the dropship because it, it kind of works hand in hand, you know. Um, I'd like to be able to uh, afford my wife just staying home. I think that'd be real good too. Um, or at least help with dropshipping full time and, and stuff like that. With a lot of the back office stuff. Um, that's about it in two years. If you're talking about two years, you know. That's yeah. about as far I can, I, as I can project in two years. Would you do you think you would down payment a house in two years or I can, I can you still be living there? I can there? do that shit now, dude. But 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 in two years, I, I'll for sure still be here. Um, so, so you still be okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, I think um. Two years is it is a long time. Ooh, dude. Long but short. It's short, dude. Dude, long this, and long this year short. is already halfway, dude. Can you believe that? Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. My mind is still on 2021, dude. I mean, that shit went by so quick, dude. Um, yeah, man. Stay consistent to um to the core to yourself. Yeah. What about? What about uh, 20 years from now? I can't predict myself, man, that long. Man, that's wild. Man. 20 years, shit. Uh, well, you'll be, what, you'll be 40... We'll be 50, dude. 45? We'll be 50, dude. Oh, shit, huh? Oh, man, no freak. So this is, I don't know what what's going to happen in 20 years, but hopefully by then, I want to, for sure, still be able to, um, like, run a marathon. You know? Oh damn! Like, okay. No. Oh, you are gonna be one of those old guys saying, "Hey, young kids, you guys can still work out." Stop being fat fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be that, uh, be that the, guy. I wanna be uh, David Goggins, bro. David Goggins, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I wanna be that kind of you shit. You carry like you know a 50 pound bag. You know, fuck your pains, fuck your, fuck your luxury. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. That's it. That's it. I won't, because I I'd rather I rather be that person than that person's like being like at, at the couch just like fat as fuck you know like I rather choose choose that life than than that because that's yeah man I've I've been um not able to walk not able to move correctly man especially like when I know that I'm not gonna have kids yet you know so when I'm like fifty my kids are just probably turning like teenagers so I still have to be physically active active with them and like you know throw some footballs around and whatnot so i'd rather be that dad than hey, you, can, you can throw a virtual football dude you get those uh apple goggles just like <laughs> hey that could be the future too dude that that really really could be the future too yeah dude. it's already kind of sort of happening already so VR i mean it's the phones vr cuz our crypto will be finally worth something dude <laughs> hey man Oh, shit, man. Uh, if I think about it now, Shiba might be worth something. <laughs> they might finish their shit. Couple more years, dude. Couple more years. Uh, I'm not. I'm not unlocking that vault yet. I'm leaving that vault there. It's hilarious. Cool, man. It's gonna be an interesting, uh, interesting few decades, man. You know, I, I'm working on. You know, like, this is a great question. Like I'm, I'm just kind of taking, I, cause I haven't even asked myself that, you know, what do I, I've just kind of been in the mode of working and taking one day at a time, you know, um, because right, because of 
you know, because right now I'm just kind of being reactive. I understand that legacy, you know, uh, and, and what that means for me is money, monetary, um, becoming a better person, right? To be able to handle, you know, whatever financial um, gain I'm going to, you know, try to obtain. So I need to grow as a person, right? Um, family wise, I want to, you know, instill family values into my kids and, and then uh, we grow as a family, you know? Um, so, you know, and all of that is still kind of very vague in my opinion, if I'm being honest, you know, and, and what I'm doing today is, you know, our podcast and drop ship and I go to work and I come back and, you know, it's, it's just, I, I guess what I'm saying, what I'm trying to express is, is like, like these, you know, these steps that I'm taking, I hope it takes me to where I want to get to. Um, because I look, I, I'll share something with you that I, I haven't shared with anybody. Um, oh, it's on Facebook. Let me see if I can pull it up. Okay, I, 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 I kind of <laughs> coming out of the closet. But you got it. You got it finally out. coming out of the closet. <laughs> Something uh, was telling me, man. Thanks, thanks for breaking the ice. Uh, but uh, so I, I kind of remember it, but it's a Facebook post that I wrote, um, you know, just uh, uh, I think about a week ago. Uh, and in that Facebook post, I said it's it's pretty much a post. I was going to make it pu- public, but, but I wrote it to myself instead. But in this Facebook post, it says, you know, not verbatim, but but the idea is that like I look back. 10 years ago, who I was 10 10 years ago and and who I am today. You know, I'm happy with where I'm at today, but at the same time, disappointed, you know, because I know what I know now can take me so far. But if I knew what I knew now, back then, I wouldn't have wasted so much time and and, and got to where I'm at today. And um, for my grandpa's birthday, you know, I gave him two grand. He was very happy. My grandma was very happy. Um, But... You know, it, it's, it, to me, like I was, I was happy, but at the same time I was ashamed because, you know, how much more could I give back to my grandparents if 10 years ago I got my shit together, you know what I'm saying? And so, so there's that, you know, and then I, I, I said that, you know, I, I make more than I did now and I have more in the bank now, but you know, how much more could I have done and, and how much more, you know, how much more I'm, I'm missing out, you know, if, if I would have gotten my shit together, you know, then instead of now, you know, so I wrote that man. And, um, you know, and then, and then that last piece of that post was, you know, the next 10 years, right. It was kind of like a commitment, kind of like a, um, a, you know, saying for myself to commit to is that for the next 10 years, you know, I'm going to commit to, um, to next in my life, you know, to, to see an exponential growth. Um, you know, I, I think a big part of that is just, uh, thinking about my dad, you know, I like, like how much I missed out on being a better son just because I was still, you know, fucking around and doing stupid shit. And, you know, and, and the relationship, you know, my, my, my grandparents are getting real old and I'm about to, you know, lose them. You know, how much of that time that I spent, you know, wasted, you know, could have been spent with them and, and the, the energy and the finances could have been spent with loved ones. And so now, you know, my commitment to myself is for the next 10 years, it's just, you know, work and make shit happen for, for my family. But, I like the message, man. I think it, I think it's it's great to uh, to look back and 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 reflect on it, but you know, it really did have to take you ten years to uh, yeah. to realize your passion. You know, you know, obviously, you know, the Peter back then wouldn't be able to handle what you have now. You know, so the Peter back then, even if he was did have your knowledge, he wasn't he wasn't able to handle. You know what you are now, like the emotion, the mental, uh, the physical, even the re- even the re- responsibilities that you have. Like 
the people back then just wasn't ready, you know? Yeah. And that's completely okay. You know what I mean? Like right now you're giving back to your family already. Me too, Gran. That's like a lot, dude. Like you may not seem like it's a lot. And of course you want to give them the world. But then they do like, that's a huge step. That's way more what Peter back then could have done. You know what I mean? Like I think it's just only going to get better. It's only going to be be better, and um, that's part of the passion to to grow and to be better, to give more later down the road. You know, yeah. um, and appreciating it. You know, and also appreciating the past you that created the you now. And uh, some people honestly they don't even realize, and they're still the ten years, you know, before they were still the same person. You know, and um, I'm glad you know it took you. 10 years to, to do this so it takes a lifetime and um yeah man i think you're in great position to um to grow and to be in you know grab a passion and 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 strive for it you know especially like with family you know you're talking about building your legacy and um um even giving back dude that's that's a huge huge step whole different peter from Back then and from now, you know, Amen. party man. Appreciate the words, dude. Facts, dude. Um, facts. Um, I mean, the positive, the mindset has definitely been different. Emotional uh, discipline has been different. Um, the mental state is different. Um, stronger, better you. You know, handling more important things. Yeah. You know. Cool. Thanks, dude. Well, yeah, man. One step at a time. We'll come back ten years from now and watch this video. I'm like, oh, where, where, where we at now, man? Yeah. And hopefully, um, hopefully, better positions for sure. Yeah. We are gonna be in better positions, man. Um, so. Guy we're talking about right now. Yeah, dude. Cool, man. Um, the, the other day I was uh I was talking to a friend and um, she she was talking about like she just wants to get motivated so much. Like I I want to be motivated so much, and I realized that damn dude, people really just wait to be motivated, and that's how you lose. You lose because you wait for motivation. And motivation is so temporary. And at the end of the day, dude, like discipline's gonna be the key to your real success, man. And um, it's crazy how uh, people just wait for motivation, dude. Like it, it took me a long time. It, I, I had to hear from somebody else to be like, "Whoa, shit! Like you actually wait for that shit?" I'm like, "Damn, that kind of sucks." Like, cause if, if it comes to me, that's like more energy that adds on, you know, with my day, but I don't, I don't wait for that shit though. I mean, I feel like, I don't know, man, it's, 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 um, it took me a while to actually like really feel it and move different, you know, and hearing it from somebody else makes me realize, oh shit, I am moving different. Like the move, the Frankie now is moving different from the Frankie before. Cause I feel like. Before, yeah, I did. I did used to wait for motivation. I had to feel good to do something. You know what I mean? If I didn't feel good, I would just like neglect it, throw it away. Like now, nah, next day, tomorrow, whatever it may be, calling sick. Uh, but Frankie now is like, dude, I can't afford being sick. Even even if I am sick, I'm still gonna go for it. And damn, dude, like hearing it from the other side was was um, was an eye opener. Oh yeah, dude. The, the law of attraction, man, you know, like if you do nothing and you literally just wait for the world to hand you, you know, a prize and, you know, you're going to do nothing with your life. But if you're actively seeking, you run into something eventually. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, the good days are, are really good. The good days are really good. The bad days are still good days. But the good days are, are, are the really, really, really fun, great days, you know. Um, so appreciating the bad and good days is is, gonna, is the key. I feel like that's the different me. 
Um, before, man, like I used, I would, I would just like smoke some weed and I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smoke some weed, a bad day, smoke a pot, and I'm good. And I, truth be told, man, I was just hiding from my emotions, dude. I was just kind of like putting them on the side, you know, like oh, I'll deal with this later. You know, I'll do the, I'll do, I deal with it next week. I'll deal with it later. And like at the end of the day, dude, like fuck, man, it never went away. It still came back. So, uh, I had to learn the hard way. But it, it took a lot, though. It took a lot. It took a lot of uh, like bad situations, a lot of heartbreaks, a lot of trauma to actually be in this position. Um, so I'm, I'm still, I still got a long way to go. But um, I'm glad I'm here now. And what I know now. Cool, dude. Yeah. Um, you want to check chat? Are you? Man, are, nobody you is, are you? Uh, are huh? you checking uh, the one on your your personal page? Yeah, that chat, one is... chat's iron off. Um, okay. Hold on. Too long. Strong says, "Love that." Right. Right. We're going to be in a better position. Hey, shout out to Too Long, man. Shout out to you, bro. Yeah, man. Um, you know, when when we talk about legacy, man, um, you know, I do want to put a legacy on the on the Hmong culture as well. I think that's a huge step. You know, I think last week I was talking to you about like, you know, what has Hmong people done, right? Like Filipino did Jolly Bee, and um, you know, China did you know Pan Express, whatever it may be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what what does Hmong people do, right? What does Hmong people do? Um, so I kind of want to, you know, put a stamp on it, you know, I want to help out, uh, whatever it may be, um, like Sabadee Fest, that was something cool that a lot of people did and more people, you know, did collab with it, but it's mainly more for the law community, you know, but I want to do something more, uh, for the Hmong community. So I think that's, yes, yeah, it's always going to be, uh, you know, uh, a side hustle or something that I'm always thinking about as, as we're doing these podcasts and, yeah. and growing and try, you know try to get the community back together because I feel like we have lost the community, man. And it's because of content. The content moved different now. So we've lost um, the community. So like getting the community back together is um, it's a whole different... It's going back to block one. And it's pretty exciting because it's um, a different, you know, version of us going yeah. in. Yeah. You know, like a mature version of us going in and what we know back then and what we want to accomplish. So um, I love what we're doing. And um, it's going to be exciting, dude. Back to block one, but um, it's going to be good. Dude, the difference now, though, right? The difference now between then two, I mean, it's just not our maturity and, and in our experience and, and what we know now. But, you know, we're reaching different audience now, too, you know. Um, and then we're having to uh, reach a, a new new a new Hmong audience, too, right? The the Because we have... The millennials, right? That grew with us, but now we have that Gen X or the Gen, Gen Z's, Gen yeah. Z's, right? That yeah. We also have to kind of, you know, um, uh, dabble reach, in and reach. get their attention. Yeah. 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 I didn't. Um, want to, yeah, I, didn't, I, I, I didn't want to say touch because that sounded sounded suspicious. Mm, right. So I chose reach, which is slightly worse. And and and, <laughs> but, and we got money now. Yeah, we got, we, we're older yeah, now. Yeah. So we, got, we got money to play. We got, yeah, so, we, got uh, money we got We got the big toys. <laughs> yeah. We got responsibilities. Uh, uh, so I'm glad. I'm glad we're doing this, man. Uh, and technology made it possible, man. So we're doing this virtually, and it made it possible. Oh yeah, dude. Can you gonna... imagine, like, like we're like thousand, like a thousand or two thousand miles apart, and we're, you know, doing this as if we're next to each other that's crazy dude yeah love it man love it i think i think it really um, hit me when, uh, content. i think it really hit me when uh that one time where you were uh you were filming and i was just kind of watching you <laughs> i was like yeah. wow this is wild dude you know it's like it's like i'm there you know just just saying hey you should yeah. do this you should do this that was good and then you're asking me stuff and then i was like yeah let's go with it and and then uh yeah. the editing too right oh my god like like i remember back then I didn't do no editing. I was like, "Yes, Frankie does that." Right. <laughs> but then now I'm doing the, the um the editing. Yeah, it's and, different. And then, yeah, oh yeah, dude, it's crazy. Dude. The dynamic has changed. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Um, 
I didn't think back then, like, I feel like we just never cared. You know, it was just, like, simple. I mean, it, feel, it should be simple now, too. Dude, because um, all we were doing was, like, 10-second stuff, dude. It was At first, it was, like, 10-second yeah. stuff. And then, um, I think, uh, Vine died. And then we did slightly longer stuff now, like, a few minutes. And then, oh, yeah, man. And then, uh, yeah, just throw, throw off IG filter on. And then the color grading is done. And, yeah. Easy. Make it easy. Cool, man. But yeah, man. Um, it's been it's been a good um, month, and the month is ending. This month is ending, and yeah, dude, it's already, it's already halfway through summer, man. That's crazy. Damn, dude, the summer's hot. already ending. It's I'm hot as hell over barely, here. Barely, barely started. Is it getting hot over there? Eighty degrees today. That's hot. That's perfect. That's hot. That's great. That's feeling feeling good. That's ridiculously hot. Does it get it, it does it's not humid over there, huh? It's a little humid, but mm. nothing like Tulsa. So uh, any uh any uh suggestions, any help on my rids on my, my next girl? I think uh so so that video we had today, right? Like 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 start implementing that. Yeah, the pussy the pussy one? <laughs> I was a pussy. You didn't give me a pussy. That one? That one. <laughs> oh, shit, dog. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, avoid that one. <laughs> Are you trying to get a girl oh, in the hot. States? Are you trying to get a girl in the States? Avoid that one. <laughs> that, that shit might work overseas, but not here, dude. Uh, no, I think, I think, dude, I think um, setting boundaries, maybe, you know? Like, um, being okay, I think, I think putting yourself first and then setting boundaries, um, and then, uh, I think, um, your standards, I think, I think expressing your standards, I think that'll be, I think that might right. change the game for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give it a try, man. I don't know. Uh, in, in, in terms of Riz, I don't know. Can't help you, Riz. I don't, I don't have Riz, man. So, I'm gonna let you know how it goes on my first date. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dope, um, that's dope. It might be with a girl. It might be with a dude. Who knows? Hey, man. Whatever, whatever it is, man. Hey, I don't, I don't discriminate, man. It might be they, might be a he, they, she, he, be he. Whatever they identify with, yeah, yeah. Cool, man. I uh, look forward to uh, whatever happens, man. You know that day is gonna be uh, interesting. The day that you decide to tie the knot, I think that's gonna be. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna happen. Are you, are you? Did you guys already officially did your wedding already? You yeah. know. Yeah. Oh uh, well, the moan. You did. Man, I tell you, uh, we officially did the moan the... wedding, or you know the wedding. Yeah. Right. But it wasn't my wedding. I'm gonna be honest with you. It wasn't my wedding. It you wasn't. Didn't, it wasn't our drink? wedding. Oh, dude, I got wasted, man. But it's not. It wasn't my wedding. Let's just let's just say that. It was just a discussion. It wasn't planned by us. It wasn't funded by us. It wasn't. You know, we didn't make the guest list. We didn't uh, book the place. We didn't do nothing. We just showed up. So it wasn't. It was a wedding for us. Most weddings are usually just like an agreement session, right? Like two sides of family. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you this. I tell you this. How I feel about it, right? Is that my kids? They're gonna do their own shit. I'm not gonna participate financially. I'll be there. I say a few words, but if you want to do what you want to do, tight, do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I will support you 100, percent but I'm not gonna plan it and do it for you. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna engage it in that way. That's that's how I feel about it. Wait, so who planned the wedding then officially? Oh, uh, my my father-in-law. Your father-in-law did? Yeah. Oh, they did it traditionally. Okay. Okay. So yeah, he uh, usually the uh, the uh, the girls, the bride's family usually we try to push for it because it's like, um, you know, more appropriate, I guess, more respectful, I guess. Setting up, the, sending the data off correctly. 
Yeah, I get it. Are you are you planning to do, do a make a wedding soon or anytime? Uh, me and Pakus. Or a wedding? No. Yeah. Nope. We're gonna no live. Way. We're gonna live the rest of our life together and be happy. That's what we're gonna do, man. Okay. Yeah, I think weddings are um pointless, man. Um, it's a scam. Yeah, but people pay thousands of dollars for a fucking wedding. Yeah. Dude, the markup, the markup on wedding shit, dude, is fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. yeah. If they know you're doing a wedding too, the yep. venue is gonna go. Dit, 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 dit. Oh yeah. Oh, it was five hundred, but it's actually fifty thousand. But for now. you, yeah, it's fifty thousand. Yeah. A wedding? Oh, make it a hundred k. God, dude. How would you how how would you do yours? Uh, I'm just gonna buy him on uh, plane tickets to Hawaii, and then we're just uh, gonna have a good time. Yeah, destination. Yeah, destination Heck wedding. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, it's just gonna be uh really intimate, man. It's not gonna be probably like 30 people, max. Yeah. Um, and just it be really intimate, going on like a whole you know trip, skydiving, yeah. whatever it may be. And um, yeah, and maybe have like a smaller ceremony for her because I think she's gonna want that, and uh, have have a moment to go back and look at, you know, at this time, and um, yeah. And make sure it's, if you hire if you hire a photo- photographer, make sure they ain't got some weak ass equipment. On. <laughs> I told oh, you, man. I told you about that one time. Talk, I told you about that one yeah. time, right? <laughs> Yeah, the guy with the stock lens. <laughs> Three hundred dollar yeah, camera. Sure. <laughs> oh shit, dog! That was that was tight. The uh, the uh, the pay was more than the camera. Oh man, dog! Uh, that, was, that was wild, dude. Yeah. Yeah, videographers and photographers they make they make bank, man. My uh, my main photographer he makes uh, at least one fifty an hour and that's like a at least a day whole day shift eight hour shift at least. Damn dude. That's tight. Yeah. Yeah, they made pretty good money. Cool man. Um but yeah man. Um uh, well today's episode's pretty good. Uh, I think it was kinda chill. Um a lot of bonding. A lot of heart to heart. Yeah. Yeah good. true. A lot of just um good deep deep conversations. That was good, man. I needed. By the way, man, I always look forward to these Thursdays, dude. This is my days off, and um, you know, I get to you know have a therapy session with everyone, and let let everyone know what what we're up to, and talking about positive things and and everything. So, thank hey. you for everyone that's, that joined. Yeah, thanks for everybody's watching. And um, any any last words yeah. from uh, from chat? Uh, no. Chat's been kind of quiet lately. Yeah. Well, you know, Facebook's not pushing out our stuff, so you know. Well, TikTok, man. Yeah, that's why we're gonna trade up and and move to TikTok. Mark Zuckerberg. We're on TikTok, dude. dog. You know, you need to stop focusing on your jujitsu, Mark, and you know, fix this, you know, shit. Cool. All right, yep, dude. We're gonna. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, you know, today's episode was fun. Um, not as much videos, but man, good heart to heart. I expressed a few things that was on my mind. Um, and so did Frankie. That being said, tune in every Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, link in bio, link in description for our YouTube channel for the full version of our past episodes. Any last words, Frankie? Yeah, follow us on TikTok. Uh, we're growing pretty fast on TikTok. Follow us on TikTok. Um, our audience is growing from TikTok, and we're probably just going to mainly um, start streaming maybe down the road just on TikTok and Facebook, but we're going to focus and more on TikTok Twitch. and Twitch. And um, yeah, probably YouTube. Twitch is where we want to go for sure. Um, but it's, it's just that our audience is growing so fast in TikTok. Uh, we want to focus on on our audience and grow correctly and yeah it's not that you know we're still gonna you know stream on um facebook for sure but uh it's gonna be uh, limited so uh, if you guys want to see everything and small clips through our our whole podcast we have clips on our highlights 
uh, feel free to join and follow us on TikTok. That's where all the funny clips are at. So join us. All right. Other than that, have a great day. Peace. Happy Thursday.